middle of August 2014. This will be the last swale herbiculture video I do for a while, being the winter's coming. You say, what? Yeah, winter's coming. It's middle of August. This is my massive lower swale. As you can see, there is no cover on it. So, I'm throwing anything in there right now, and this is just some wild peas. I'm going to bury it in various locations for when the uh, snows come. I'm going to show you as fast as I can. It just kind of gets boring sometimes, especially when you're out here in the hot sun doing it. Those sticks there are not sticks. That is a part of my herbiculture bed, which is going to be combined with swales everywhere. Up this hill, like that, just redirecting what the water is doing here. I've done this in several places, all to funnel down to there with my blue willow behind it. We got a woodpecker? Yeah, I think there's a woodpecker up on the hill. All right. These areas here, that's holding moisture. See, even the little flowers love it. Huh. So, that's how that works. Digging around these, because I'm actually trying to save all this sagebrush so they all get their little pockets. <laughs> up the hill. And we'll go even up the waterfall. <clears throat> this actually, we had about a half inch of rain about a week ago. This had a massive little dugout from coming off this little hill. This is the upper swale. The plastic's just there for experimentation reasons. Uh, it's a little obvious. The water has been ponding here in the middle of the property. Just like it used to. Run right down through there into this driveway area. And actually that lower swale was part of a irrigation canal they did about 30 years, 40 years ago. So I'm gonna run with that. I have these channels everywhere pushing into a central location. I will have a couple pipes underground. When the snows come, I gotta be working. I can't be fooling around videotaping everything. Especially a mile high above the sky. It's a little issue with uh, breathing sometimes. Which is always fun. I even have this here. It looks like a path, but it's not. I'm pushing the water back into the hill. It's all it consists of. In order to take this desert and to turn it into something green, that is the ultimate solution. There's a lot of water runoff up here in my field of pink onions, which really did bad this year. That rain was terrible. I even have a cut way up here on top of the hill. Looks like somebody's been eating. Somebody got one of the onions. All that runs down. It's pretty cool. I've really begun to see in the past year, even though I've only gotten shit, probably an inch in a year, I can see where the water's running. So that's what I'm doing. Regenerating, regreening, repurposing the desert. Until next time, I'm going to go fly a kite for a minute. Later.